Our top story, India's external affairs minister S.J. Shankar has taken a sharp dig at the United States and uh, Pakistan. J. Shankar's dig comes over U.S. Uh, decision to send the F-16 jet fleet sustainment program to Pakistan. This is worth $450 million. Now, India's external affairs minister was speaking at an event organized by the Indian American community in Washington, D.C. The United States had earlier said it was sending the F-16 fighter jets up to Pakistan to meet uh, the current and future counterterrorism threat attacking uh, the US argument and Pakistan's uh, intention to counter terrorism on its land uh, SJ Shankar said and I quote you are not fooling anybody by saying these things very honestly it's, it's, a, it's a relationship that has neither ended up serving Pakistan well nor serving American interests well. So it is really for the United States today to reflect whether this relationship, you know, what are the merits of this relationship, what do they get by yeah. Jay Shankar is on a 10 day trip to the United States. Uh, his remarks come just a day before his crucial meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Just weeks ago, for the first time since 2018, the U.S. State Department approved a foreign military uh, sale to Pakistan for the sustainability of the Pakistan Air Force F-16 fleet and equipment at the cost of $450 million. India has raised concerns over this deal in the past as well. The country's defense minister, Rajnath Singh, uh, in fact, raised the matter with the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. For more on this story, we're now joined by my colleague Siddhan Sibyl, who's reporting from New Delhi, and Anas Malik, who joins us uh, live from Washington, D.C. Uh, Anas, let me come to you first. Of course, these are remarks that were made by the External Affairs Minister of India while addressing an event in Washington, D.C., ahead of his crucial meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State. Clearly, India taking a very strong position and mincing no words, conveying categorically to Washington, it is its displeasure over this deal. Well, yes, uh, you've rightly mentioned, Neha, that India has conveyed its displeasure. But uh, uh, the, what also has to be kept in mind is the fact that uh, these remarks also come in the backdrop of the meeting of the Pakistani Foreign Minister, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, with the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Uh, both the meetings of uh, uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister and the Pakistani Foreign Minister are to happen on the same day, hours apart, though. Uh, and uh, th these, these remarks come in the backdrop of that. Now, what is also very important is that the new Biden administration or the Biden administration by and large has been visibly comfortable in engaging with the Pakistani admins, the new Pakistani admins and that is the reason we're seeing that uh, uh, just months apart this is the second meeting between the Pakistani foreign minister and the uh, US State Secretary that is to take place today uh, in a short while from now. Uh, now pa while Pakistan has been keen on engaging and rather uh, you know uh, uh, forging their ties with the U.S., uh, which comes in the backdrop of those allegations or those uh, torpedoed relations, torpedoed statements by the former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan uh, that had visibly daunted the Pakistan-U.S. relations. These remarks will be taken off note of both by the U.S. side and we would be expecting Islamabad to react on that. Yeah. Well, it'll certainly be interesting to see, Anas, how Islamabad reacts to this. Uh, but Siddharth, if I could come to you now. Uh, like I said, very strong remarks from India's External Affairs Minister, mincing no words and expressing India's strong displeasure over this deal, uh, saying you are fooling nobody. What are you picking up from your sources in the Ministry of External Affairs here in New Delhi? How are these comments likely to be viewed by uh, the U.S. administration? And is uh, Mr. Jay Shankar also likely to take this up in his one-on-one -on -one meeting with U.S. Secretary of State? Well, uh, Neha, the, the remarks speak for themselves. Uh, these are remarks which had no diplomatic niceties and 
message straight to Washington from the heart of Washington, given that these remarks have been made by the Indian External Affairs Minister uh, in Washington. But uh, clearly, New Delhi is miffed uh, over uh, the announcement when it comes to F-16s. And we know that what uh, the Americans have been saying, that it has been done so that uh, the Pakistanis get support when it comes to counterterrorism and concerns over uh, their nukes as well. Remember, just recently, top American official had a briefing in which Vion was also present, uh, where he gave two key reasons why these announcements have been made. But the message is also the fact that when it comes to dealing with Pakistan, India and its partners uh, need to be clear about the sensitivities India has regarding Pakistan, Pakistan support to terrorism, something that has been a major concern. Now, we have seen since 2014, there have been outreach by New Delhi, but it has been reciprocated by terror attacks in India, especially in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And India has made it clear that talks and terror can't go together. And that is why we have seen, whether it's summer there hasn't been any engagement, no bilateral uh, level conversation between the two sides, given informal chats as well. And uh, the fact is that there is more desperation seen from Pakistan when it comes to conversations uh, with India. There have been remarks by Pakistani Prime Minister, by the Pakistani Foreign Minister. But it is clear that New Delhi is not going to engage with Pakistan. And the message is same for uh, the American side, that you need to be very clear when it comes to your stance uh, on dealing uh, with Pakistan. In fact, uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister also said that he will make a case when he meets with American policymakers on the issue of F-16. Uh, we know that later today in the U.S., uh, uh, there is a dinner hosted by uh, the U.S. Secretary of State uh, for uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister. But the key talks, the delegation level talks, will take place on Tuesday between the two sides, in which it is, of course, given that the Indian side will raise its concerns. Uh, we also saw just last week the Indian Defense Minister raising the matter with his counterpart, uh, in which uh, uh, the U.S. Defense Secretary Austin made it clear that this is something uh, not an upgrade when it comes to uh, the Pakistani announcement regarding F-16. So it is uh, a delicate balance for Washington, but a message, a clear message from New Delhi. An unequivocal message from New Delhi and this issue does seem to be a new irritant in the India-US relationship, an issue that is also likely to figure prominently in those bilateral talks that are going to take place between the two sides later today. Thank you very much, Anas and Siddhant, for getting us all those details.